Mayor Danny Rourke, and I want to just uh, welcome everybody here uh, to uh, you know for a wonderful event. Um, you don't usually get crowds like this when, when you're honoring people, and uh, luckily and fortunately, um, I get to uh, MC the events for Bob and Embry Page. Um, you know, <laughs> Uh, quickly joining me, uh, I have uh, Councillor Corey Robinson, Councillor Rita Mercia, State Representative Rodney Elliott. We did have councils that were here earlier that wanted to honor uh, you as well, but they had to go for a subcommittee meeting. Uh, it was uh, con uh, Vice Mayor Paul Rathi Yem, uh, Councillor Eric Gitchier, and uh, Councillor who I missing, Sakari Chow as well. So, uh, with that being said, um, you know, here to uh, to honor uh, Anne Marie and Bob. Uh, you know, very few people, when you, when you talk to them or you meet them, um, they are so open and welcoming to anybody. It doesn't matter your political views, doesn't matter uh, who you are, where you came from. Um, you are friends of theirs for life the second that, that you meet them. And I am no different than anybody else in this room uh, that have been fortunate enough to come across your path, be able to sit down, have a cup of coffee or have breakfast uh, and just uh, shoot the breeze. So or uh, get involved in, in city politics and, and how to make Lowell better. And, and that's what we are here today to honor you for all the work that you have done helping us. Uh, so with that being said, I want to pass it off uh, first to, uh, to Rita Mercia, and then we'll just go around and anybody wants to come up and say a couple of words. I'm sure we'll be here for a little bit, so I hope everybody uh, just uh, settles in and, and enjoys this wonderful occasion. So with that being said, Councilor? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here, no doubt about it. The greatest couple in the city of Lowell, I think, the mayor and the mayorette, mayorette <laughs> I want to say. I and mean, I'll say a disclaimer right away. My grandmother on my mother's side, her maiden name was Paige, so I think we're related. Bobby, I don't know. We could be cousins. Oh, yeah. oh gee. Oh, my God. <laughs> my face is red. But I'm honored to be here. Honest to God, look at all your friends. I, I can't imagine it. There is no surprise or secret about ordinary people who go, who go above and beyond their means to do extraordinary things such as Anne-Marie and Bob Page. No doubt about everything that you have done. They look for nothing in return. People say, oh, look at the council. Oh, the, they did this, they did that. And we're elected to do that. You're not elected to do this. You do it out of your heart. You do all these things and you look for nothing in return. They give of their time, their energy, their skills, and they make this city a better place because of their involvement. They are the eyes and the ears of the neighborhood and the heart of their piece of the rock in their section of the city of Lowell in Centerville. Bob, who took care of the center island in front of CVS, the VFW Hall. Bob Page, who led the charge for the Lowell Veterans Council and the veterans of St. Louis. Any veteran issue, Bob was right on top of it. Anne Marie, founder and past president for many, many years of CNAG, the Centerville Neighborhood Action Group, former president of the Citywide Neighborhood Council, having neighborhood cleanups, candidates nights, as well as being a brownie leader, CCD teacher, and former president of the Holy Sodality of St. Michael's Church. You didn't have enough on your plate with your children? Come on now. Mark alone would have made you exhausted. What the heck? She also volunteered for suitability, which provided support services, appropriate interviews, and work clothing to low-income women. And why not, Anne-Marie? Because she's a Notre Dame girl. No doubt about it. I can't help it. I had to say, I'm so proud of you. Anne-Marie and her husband, Robert, have been married for, and I know I said this before, and I said 56 years, but it's really reversed. I must have dyslexia or whatever. I see things backwards. It's 65 years, isn't it? 65 years. Oh, my God. People today aren't married for 65 minutes, and you've been married 65 years because this is unbelievable. I, I love you. Everybody loves you, no doubt about it. 
for all the wonderful and thoughtful deeds, hard work, and devotion these two individuals have done for the neighborhood and the residents to make their piece of the rock in Lowell more vibrant, more safe, and more appealing. This motion is a slam dunk for approval that we could try to find something to honor you. I know there is talk about different places, so I'm looking and I'm asking and appealing to each and every one of you, put on your thinking caps and find something because we can honor Bob, Con uh, uh, Mr. Conrad, we can honor you. Uh, you've done so much for the neighborhood, and so thank you both of you, and God bless you. We love you very much. Thank you so much. Well, it's funny reading you said that about a placement of some sort of uh, plaque monument, some sort of signage honoring Bob and Emery Page. Uh, the man that's going to get that done uh, is here. I know he's a close friend of the, of the two years. Uh, City Manager Tom Golden. Mr. Manager? Thank you all very much, and I uh, appreciate the opportunity to be here. To two of the, uh, the best people ever. I've known both of these uh, fine individuals for, I hate to say this, but a close, probably close to 40 years. Uh, and uh, Bob, I gotta tell you something. I didn't know you guys were married for 65. We've been dating for 40. I don't know how to <laughs> break that to you, but. I don't tell people I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> But to Anne-Marie, the true boss, uh, do you know something? Whenever you wanted to know what was happening throughout the city of Lowell, Anne-Marie, you'd call. If you wanted to know what was happening in the world of the veterans, you gave Bob a call. And consistently, always giving back to our community. But then again, as I look around, it's kind of synonymous with all the folks that are here today. But uh, it really is a true pleasure to be here. And um, I don't know if there's a fitting area in God's country. I think I'm going to get in trouble for that being a city manager now, right? No, it's God's country on the other side. I can only say that when I'm oh, But uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if there's a fitting area. I don't know if it's big enough. I don't know if it's at the best intersection. I don't know what it is, but we're going to find something. We're going to find something to honor the entire Page family. You know why? Because they are what Lola's is all about. Love you both. Thank you very much for everything you've always done for the city. Thank you, Mr. Banjo. Also, to recognize, uh, we have a candidate for Register of Deeds, Karen Casella. Karen, thank you for being here this evening. And also, City Councilor John Dakota. John, thanks for, for attending here as well. Uh, one of the makers of the motion, along with uh, Council Murdis, was, was Councilor Corey Robinson. He actually represents the district of, of Centerville, uh, only probably because when the districts were announced, uh, Emory decided not to run for City Councilor, right? So, yeah, so because of that, uh, you know, now, now we have uh, Councilor Corey Robinson. Councilor? I first met the Pages while I was employed by the City of Lowell in the Parks Department. <clears throat> we didn't have district representation at that time, but Centerville did. All the improvements that went on anywhere across the bridge within 200 yards near their home, they were involved. Whether it was Saturday morning and we were doing sod on a park, they were involved. If it had anything to do with veterans, they were involved under Tom Belgard. They were Tom Belgard's go-to. I, sometimes I think that was his off-the-record consultants because Tom would get the grant money from the state and the pages would spring into action and the neighborhood would come alive. It was an honor to, to make this proposal, bring it forward and partner with, with Council of Mercia. Um, aside from being staples at the Cameo, which is, I still say, one of the best diners in the city, unfortunately, I'd have to challenge that against any district. Something I'd like to say that, that really stood out to me about all that the pages have done for our city. Service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. That's from Muhammad Ali. Sometimes in life, we, lay too, we wait too long to show appreciation or give flowers to those that have had a, position, a positive impact on our lives, neighborhoods, or our communities. If we consider Muhammad Ali's quote, these two neighbors would have overpayment credit for a few generations to come. For many years, it was a neighborhood activist that raised the bar in sections of the city that lacked consistent representation. It's my honor to be able to bring this forward and acknowledge two residents of Lowell 
and their families that have tirelessly improved the quality of life of so many. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Well said. And I'll welcome up Councilor John Cole to say a couple of words as well and show his appreciation. Councilor. Thank you very much. Actually, I've had the honor of knowing the pages for over 50 years. Me and Mark played Little League Baseball together on the Royals. Mark wasn't very good, but <laughs> no, Mark was an excellent player. Um, one just quick, quick story. So back in Little League, back in the, in the 70s, baseball was big, especially in Senegal. We had some great baseball players, and the parents were just as enthusiastic. We had Mrs. Slattery, we had Mrs. Perry, and we had Mrs. Page. No umpire wanted to do the games. <laughs> it was that day where I rated if it, when, it, when any call went against us, right, Mark? I mean, it's just that way. But, the, but that's exactly the way it was. But to two great people, it's an honor for me to speak. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to welcome a uh, longtime counsel. I know he's been very close with the pages over the years, and now as a state representative. Uh, doing a wonderful job, State Representative Ronnie Elliott. Come. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm going to join the choir, the chorus. Um, I think Reader and, and Corey and, and the Mayor really outlined all your contributions. Uh, I met the Pages when I was on the Protectable Citizens Council and uh, learned how quickly and how important neighborhood organizations were. But if you wanted advice, you wanted sage advice, uh, on, on issues in the city, in particular in Centerville, you go to Bob and Ann Murray Page. And there wasn't a, a veterans event uh, that they weren't at, that they weren't contributing. And uh, you know, those are my memories and continued through the Centerville Neighborhood Action Group. And they would both give you advice whether you liked it or not. This is what we think, this is how we feel, and we learned to process it. And I appreciate that very much for the 26, 24 years I have served as, in the city council. And uh, I think you make all of us better city councilors, uh, you and other neighborhood groups, by, uh, by keeping us on our toes. And Centerville is a, is a better, we're a better city and Centerville is a better neighborhood. And I'm proud to stand before you tonight. And if, you could, if I could ask you to come up, I'd like to bring greetings from the Massachusetts State House uh, and, uh, and, and give each one of you uh, a citation. So, ladies before gentlemen, uh, Anne Marie, if you could kindly come up first. Oh, yeah, both of you. Yeah. <laughs> sure, well, well, I'll come to you. So Emory on behalf um you're on me. Uh, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the House of Representatives, be hereby known to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offer us sincere congratulations to Amory Page in recognition of your dedication and service in the city of Lowell, advocacy for the veteran population. I'm sorry. Play your public glasses. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So um, veteran population and decades. A volunteer service within the community, including all your work with the CNAG Neighborhood Action Group. The entire membership extends its very best wishes and expresses the good hope and fortune and continued success given on this ninth day of April 2024 at the State House by the Speaker, offered by myself, Rodney Elliott. Thank you for all you do. Congratulations. Representatives, we are hereby now to all that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offer its sincere congratulations to Bob Page in recognition of your dedication and service 
your, ad and your advocacy for the veteran population, <coughs> serving several veteran-based veteran organizations, your, your decades of service to the veteran community, including your work with the Low Fire Department, the Veterans Affairs, the Center of Neighborhood Action Group, Franco American, the list goes on and on. Thank you so much for everything you've done. Thank you, Mr. President Elliott. Uh, also, the city, myself, uh, fellow counselors, have a citation. Be it here tonight, be it here known to all the city of all the Home of Massachusetts, here by office, sincere congratulations to Anne Marie and Bob Page. Anne Marie and Bob Page are lifelong residents of Lowell, known for their dedication to their community. They raised their five children in their home on Christian Hill and have been active in community members since then. Emory volunteered at St. Michael's School and Church and held leadership positions in various organizations. Bob worked for the Lowell Fire Department and later pursued higher education at the University of Lowell, graduating from Lowell. They welcomed many into their home, creating a backyard ice skating rink and providing cookies and hot chocolate to local children. They later opened their own business, Emory's Water Community, employing young people from the Central area and teaching them about high level customer service. Emory and Bob were active in the Central Neighborhood Action Group with Anne Marie serving in many positions, including president. Bob began working with Veterans Affairs, assisting various groups, and signing several successful veteran based charities. He organized many veterans' events, including memorial events at Lowell Cemetery. Even in retirement, they continued to serve their community. Anne Marie assists residents with various issues, and Bob helps with veterans matters and ensures that the city's veterans' monuments are properly cared for. They have anonymously donated gifts to the Lowell Police and Fire Department, children in need during the holidays. The dedication and commitment to the people of Lowell are commendable and deserving of this recognition today. Now, therefore, I, Mayor Dan Work, on behalf of the entire city council, and residents of Lowell, hereby extend our deepest congratulations. We are proud to honor and recognize Anne Marie and Bob Page. We offer respect, gratitude, and best wishes of good health and happiness during this ninth day of April, 2024. Thank you. Thank you. Amy was going to talk, but we had a meeting at 6.30, so yeah, we'll pass that uh, duty on to Michelle. So Michelle, please come up. <laughs> Pretty much just stole my name. So uh, we were contacted by my parents' neighbor, George, who we all know and love, and advised us what the city wanted to do for my parents. So we were asked to write up a, a brief bio <laughs> of which sounds stole most of the best lines. I'm just saying. So, but with my brother and sisters, we drafted this. So I'm just going to read what's written rather than try to wing it. Amber and Robert Page are lifelong residents of Lowell, but they are much more than that. While Robert grew up in Centerville and Anne Marie in the Highlands, in 1967, they bought their first and current family home on Christian Hill. Everyone from the hill knows the house as the one with the cupola, and now they know it as the Hank house with the cupola. <laughs> Anna and Robert raised their five children there, and from the beginning became devoted to the area and its residents. While Bob achieved the rank of lieutenant at the Lowell Fire Department, Anne-Marie volunteered at St. Michael's School and Church. She was the president of the Ladies' Sodality and the Brownie Troop Leader, which always ended up at our house. So. Once the kids moved on to high school, she moved into the position of president of the Academy of Notre Dame Alumni, her school from kindergarten through high school, and the proudest claim to fame. Robert returned to school at the university, which I had as the University of Lowell, and my father's corrected me. My father graduated from the first graduating class of UMass Lowell. I didn't realize it was that old. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize UMass Lowell was that old. <laughs> <laughs> he then went on to work in several businesses in the city. While the children were young, Robert and Emory always welcomed so many. Before they put in a pool, Robert was working overnight at the 
fire department. So, sorry, before they put in a pool, Robert built an ice skating rink in their backyard every winter. When Robert was working overnight at the fire department, Anne Marie would be out there hosing down the ice rink so it would be frozen for the children the next day. She's recently told me she thought she was crazy. Crazy. They would also buy pails of cookies from the Nabisco and along with hot chocolate by the bucket full. The Nabisco cookies were the broken ones, which none of us ever knew <laughs> were the broken cookies. The pages of Met, the pages, I say this because I voted for George. <laughs> us children have met people in our adulthood who used to sled and ice skate in our yard. They would slide down the driveway or they would ice skate in the backyard. I had I had never met these people, but as an adult, they would say, oh, you're a page. I used to ice skate in your backyard. So everyone knew our house. Robin and Anne-Marie decided to open their own business, Anne-Marie's monogramming, and there was no other place for it but the city of Lowell. This is the part of the <laughs> So they employed young people from Centerville, teaching them the highest quality of customer service. My parents were always very dedicated to their customers and their employees. Uh, let's see, where are we going? Because I've got to skip some of what we When the Centerville Neighborhood Action Group began, Anne Marie and Robert felt the need to be part of it. Anne Marie held numerous posts, including president. She also helped people in Centerville with many issues and more closely with the police as well as various departments within the city. Robert started his work with the Veterans Affairs as well. Robert assisted with various groups and could often be seen in area parades representing these veterans. Several are here tonight and we thank you. Anne-Marie and Robert organized many veterans events, including the memorial events at the Lowell Cemetery. They had numerous honored guests and, uh, and even managed to get a military helicopter to land at Lowell Cemetery. Anne-Marie is now on the board of the Lowell Cemetery as well. Anne-Marie and Bob are both retired and you would think they would rest, but no. Anne-Marie continues to help residents with various issues. There aren't many departments in City Hall that don't know her. <laughs> Robert also helps with Veterans Matters and tries to ensure that the monuments for the veterans in the city are properly cared for. Every Christmas, they donate gifts to Lowell Police or Lowell Fire Department for children who may need help during the holidays. They always do this anonymously. Until right now. <laughs> 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 These departments know that it's Anne Marie and Bob. If they ever need something, they can call on. This is but a brief summary of Anne Marie and Robert's dedication and commitment to the people of the city of Lowell. And we feel they deserve our recognition. So thank you. I knew that these, this couple was going to be great friends when I moved in, into that area about over 20 years ago. There's a couple of things that I learned. She had, as Michelle said, that house, that pink house with the, Michelle, what do you call that thing? Yeah. And I tell people I live on 31 Fremont. And they're like, where's that? So Amory told me to say, the other thing that I appreciate about her, as you know, they've been married for 65 years, and it was April 4th. It's my mother's birthday. Oh. And 
My older daughter, Olivia, has the same birthday as Anne Marie, July 27th. What do you got for me? <laughs> <laughs> but I remember when we first moved there, got a knock on the door, and it was Annery. Had some cookies. Say welcome to the neighborhood. We have an organization called Central Neighborhood Action Group. I'd like to come to. <laughs> so I went. I I met a lot of the neighbors. We became great friends. And then she said, "Why don't you want?" President. I said, no, I don't want to be. Okay. I've been president since. <laughs> but the key thing that I've learned about them is it's their pride and joy is about being a good neighbor. And they are the best neighbors you could ever ask for. I always tell them I appreciate them, I appreciate the love, I appreciate the care. She's always concerned about my children. She's always concerned that we are okay. I'm always concerned about her. I do yell at her when she tries to take the shovel and go outside. <laughs> That's a true story. Yes, yes. She's out there trying to shovel snow. No, I like white people. Just take it out. Yes, take it out. The shovel fell off the banner tree on the front porch. You know? I go to pick up the shovel. And George screamed across the street. <laughs> dad, dad, dad! Don't you dare touch that shovel! I want you to know it's Mark who tells me to yell at you. And that's why I'm killed. <laughs> but the love that they show for the neighborhood and for the city oh, is what made us all love to see them. If you know love, you know the angels. If you know love, if you don't care, you know the pages. I know everything about them that I need to know. And I just wish the world could experience what we experience with this family. So thank you. Thank you all for being here this evening. It was a wonderful event, and I'll give you the, the mic if you want, Mrs. Page. You want to give us say a few words? <laughs> Remember, you have. Uh... There's a meeting at six thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to thank everyone. and I, and this is a good community for good people. You know, we all try to be nice to each other, and that's what we're supposed to do. But George. Don't you dare pick up that job. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time from your life to be here. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Bob Page. I just want to share one thing with you. Uh, I'm a Korean War veteran. Some of my brothers are here tonight. When I came home, I realized. 26,000, 38,000 of my brothers were not coming home. And that really, really hurt me. And I kept that inside of me for several years. And then I decided I have to do something. So what I did, I started up this program to honor veterans who were homeless and who needed a hand up. And it went very well, and I'm very proud of having done that. I did that for 20 years until I was no longer able to do it. But I wanted to share that with you. If 38,000 of our brothers didn't come home, we would have liked this.